Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new vlog. You guys will probably be able to hear Jason outside blowing off our back deck. He is prepping the backyard because we're going out of town for a couple of days. We are gonna be still in Tennessee, but a couple hours outside of Nashville at a getaway cabin. If you guys are not familiar with getaway, they have these amazing tiny cabins that are located at campsites and you just go and you get to basically camp out in a really nice little cabin. So we're gonna be doing that over the next couple of days. We are going with the brand Away. If you're not familiar with Away, they're the ones that make the suitcases that you've probably seen at every single airport anytime you've traveled. So we're really excited. She's all packed up. Literally the biggest duffel bag ever. It's like the size of a carry-on suitcase. I'm gonna show you guys. Next to the actual carry-on. I think it's bigger. It's like the size of a medium suitcase. Look at that. Duffel bag, carry-on. I'm pretty sure it's bigger than the actual carry-on. Definitely bigger because it's a lot higher too and I didn't even fill it up. That's crazy, this thing is insane. We are an hour and 13 minutes behind schedule, but we got the confirmation text with our cabin number, how to check in, and we've got a two hour and five minute drive to our cabin. And we're very excited. hear the bugs already. <laughs> Here she is. I heard something in the woods over there. A little scamper. Got our little fire pit. Our little cabin. So precious, the bed. Looking into the woods. Getaway guide, welcome to your getaway. Oh, I actually love the red backpack. It's so cute. This is coffee. No, this is the s'mores kit. Cause the sticks. Oh. Fun, dude. I know, a little radio. I mean, a real campy vibe. Oh, fun, yeah, and all the, the pots and pans. Like a car. Two lighters, nice. We'll pour over. So what's in there? Fridge, nice. Trash can, what is this thing? This must be the heat in the pool. Oh, we have a toilet, yay! <laughs> a toilet. Sure. Cool. It's so teeny tiny. It's so cute. It's a great idea. I love this. It's so cute. And that big window. Bye. All right. We threw all of our stuff into the cabin. It is seriously so cute. They actually have one with two queen beds. We got the one with one queen bed, obviously. But if you wanted to do like a trip as like a double date, it'd be so fun to do like two couples. We are gonna go grab some food though because we didn't bring any food other than some like muffin bars and those chewy granola bars. So we're just gonna see what Scott's best way has for us, which is the closest grocery store. What's really nice about getaway is that they actually prep you for your trip so they tell you what all is included in each of their cabins and then also they give you a list of different trails that are close by grocery stores things to do that are kind of in the area and there is a path or a trail near the campsite that we might do tomorrow morning and then there's a longer hike that's about oh my gosh hold on <laughs> that is about 15 minutes from the actual campsite. What's really, really great too 
is that all of the little cabins are secluded off. Every single one has a different pocket though. So even though there's maybe like five or six cabins in one cluster, they're all separated by trees. So you feel pretty secluded, which is really nice. But you also have the comfort knowing that there are people around you. We did see another car drive by, so you know you're not alone. It's a, it's a cute little spot. So we're gonna go to this little grocery store, see what we can find. Probably just make some pasta. They have a little fridge, they have the stove, and they have pots, pans, mugs, all that stuff, which is really nice because you don't have to bring that. They also have oil, salt, and pepper, so we're good. Jay Waz is already in his full grow fit. <laughs> Took no time. In case you're mad, baby. <laughs> Scott's. Oh, Velveeta mac and cheese. They got big things with Sunny D. They have tortillas, good tacos. Honestly, you could just get some soup. Honestly, this is way more... I say this is way better than the Gatlinburg grocery store that we went to that one time. Oh yeah, mac and cheese. What are our options? I think just craft. <gasps> Actually, did you ever eat these growing up? These hamburgers? No. I was more of a Stouffer's gal. But I did absolutely slam boxes of mashed potatoes. Alright. <laughs> We got a can of corn, pesto, bow ties, two packs of chicken ramen, and queso. No, I'm just kidding, we don't have a microwave. We could heat up on the stove, but we're not going to because we have self-control. But we did get the ramen. What do I do for breakfast? I don't know. We have a stove. We could do eggs. Just eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon? Yeah. Seems good. They have Teddy Graham. I wish they had the chocolate chip ones though. What did you find? Popcorners. <laughs> White sugar popcorn to me. Chloe already littered this on the ground. <laughs> we bought ice cream and realized we only have a fridge. Well, looks like we're eating that tonight. <laughs> we eat that like right now. Well, it looks right. No, it definitely will. We got chips, eggs, buns, corn, water, bread, orange juice, bacon, meat for tonight, ramen. we did pasta instead of Kraft mac and cheese. I'm on my second little bowl and Jay was built an incredible fire. Probably gonna chill for the rest of the night since we did content earlier today and then we'll pick back up with y'all tomorrow. and I got up at 6.30 to the sunrise. We didn't end up closing the windows because all the cabins feel really, really private. So we just left all the windows open. And then we also didn't sleep with the air, even though the cabin has 
heat and air conditioning we were able to sleep with the windows open because we hit like the perfect weather i think last night got down to like 57 but inside the actual cabin it's like insulated so it felt like the perfect sleeping temperature and then we got up this morning it was really chilly outside so jay was was like bundled up and he did his bible and journal out here i was inside and then we took our coffees and we went for a little walk we walked all the way through the campsite and so we're on one of the little side roads and there's a main road that keeps going so we walked down the main like gravel road and looked at all the little cabins along there and then there were a few like branched off from the main road that had more cabins but there's like no one here right now because it's a tuesday yesterday was monday and so we basically have like the whole place to ourselves there's like maybe three or four other people like close by and then there were some more further down but we noticed too that the actual campsite has little areas for people who want to do tent camping so they had lots for that so it's just fun like walking around it's definitely very very shaded here which is really nice so even though the sun is coming up. I feel like our lot is super shaded, so it feels really great outside. I'm wearing one of my twisted sweaters that I haven't worn since spring. Drinking my coffee. I've got my bucket hat from Madewell on. <laughs> and I was wearing my like big hiking boots. I think we're gonna go hiking today. So there's one that's like 40 minutes away that is a four mile hike. And then there's one that's like 50 minutes away. That's a 12 mile hike. And I think we're gonna stick to the four mile hike just because 12 mile would be kind of like an all day thing and I think we want to actually like rest and not just hike to the point of exhaustion so we'll do that. Jay Waz is inside making his second coffee and we're gonna probably do some breakfast here. We got our bacon and eggs. We realized we probably should have just gotten like cereal or oatmeal or something but we just love love doing the most so that is is where we're at this morning and it was honestly so nice last night we like put our phones away and i still have my phone like out for shooting like content stuff for the reels but i just turned on airplane mode and like jason put his in the little cell phone box and it's just been really chill so we've been just trying to like unplug and um, at least rest the amount that we can since we are technically working this trip but still trying to get like those intentional moments of rest in Spread back in ten bowls of eggs, biggest cup of orange juice. All right, we finished shooting up some content for away, and we're about 30 minutes from the campsite at Standing Stone Park, which is a state park, but it's kind of crazy. There's like literally no one here i guess because schools are back though but it's kind of weird we're like driving through this state park and we've only seen like two or three cars and they have like volleyball courts and just state-owned cabins too that's the weirdest thing to me it's like it's a state park but you can rent cabins through the state oh, so i don't know i've before. never seen that before but it's really beautiful we were driving here and just like these massive wide roads with nobody on them it's a little eerie actually so beautiful. Oh, doesn't work, but a good idea. Man, if it did work, <laughs> that'd be so pretty. Rip. Beautiful. Whoa, it moves. I was not expecting that. Wow. Yeah, cool. Did it not last that long? I started cramping just like that time of the month bad. So we decided to come back and eat our sandwiches by the dam instead. Oh, Harvest cheddar sun chips, ham and cheese, a big dam, pigeons over there. Beautiful, beautiful day.
just woke up from a nap. I think we slept for like over an hour. We were both so tired. <laughs> After we ate lunch, we went and drove some back road near the dam and it was very, very steep. So we did a little bit of exploring and we came back, went straight to take a nap. And now we're up <laughs> making ramen. Well, I made ramen and Jay was made a fire. He's sitting over there. I have to sit at the table because this bowl is like seriously so hot because it's metal. I haven't had ramen in probably years. I feel like the last time that I had ramen was maybe when Jay was was touring because I used to eat this stuff all the time while he would go out of town. And then while we were at the grocery store, he suggested getting it. So he already ate his because I was making mine while he ate his, but now I'm slurping on mine. He eats his without the, like the soup part, just the noodles. I don't know. You did eat it with the soup and then you just stopped? My friend and I in college used to eat ramen like three times a week. We'd go thrifting and then we'd come back from thrifting and go straight into ramen. And it was honestly such a treat. I always associate, so, associate, can't say words, I just woke up, ramen with thrifting now. But she taught me to put cayenne in it. Changed my life. We don't have cayenne here. But if you haven't tried that, it's so good. And she also showed me to like boil it in water and then strain it and then pour new hot water in so that you don't have all the like boiled off foggy water. It's like the fresh water. She knew how to make ramen. It's probably too hot to eat, but let's just go ahead and risk our mouth for it. It still hits. All right, we... What did we do? Where did I last leave y'all? I think I was eating my ramen, maybe? Was I eating my ramen? I think I was. After I finished my ramen, we sat by the fire and did some reading. I read through like a third of my book. It's a shorter book, but I did read for a little bit. And then we have been waiting for the coals to kind of like burn down on the fire so that we can grill the hot dogs on the grill plate out there. I am going to roast up some corn here on the stove and that's what we're having for dinner. This vlog has been a lot of just camping food, but I'm here for it. Jay Waz asked if he could just cut up a bunch of hot dogs and put it straight in his corn, if that would be weird. And I said, that would be pretty weird. I was wondering if he could hear me. I like that this place has hot water because I think I showed you guys, there's a shower, a toilet in there, and then there is like a hot water heater for it. It's not like a ton of hot water. It says that you can like take showers, but you should like wait between showers. But it's nice because you can do your dishes right here versus like normal campgrounds, which we've gone camping with Jason's family pretty much every year that I have like known Jason since college. We would go camping with his family until like, I think last year or the year before that was maybe the first year we didn't do camping which was really sad, but it brings back all the memes, like being back at kind of like a campground. Although there, it was definitely like tent camping. So you would obviously have a tent. Jason's family had a pop-up and you would do dishes in a common space. But this is definitely way more secluded and private. And there are places where you can have tents. I think I mentioned that earlier. And then over in those areas, they have individual showers that you can shower and stuff. And then also, wash your dishes. I'm telling them about how your family would always camp every year. Mm -hmm. you know. Rip. Rip. I'm trying to get a video of uh, these cows. Okay. <laughs> They're going crazy. Okay. We're out in like the middle of nowhere, Tennessee, and we've just been listening to cows, like tons of cows just mooing for the last couple of hours while we've been reading. And they've been going off. You hear the craziest sounds. We've heard cows, and I'm pretty sure we've heard some coyotes as well. Lots of dogs around here as well. This place does come with salt, pepper, individual packs of olive oil. I think you only get four of them, but that's enough for just two nights. Sugar, creamer for coffee, forks, utensils, you get like a spoon, a little wood spatula, two lighters, scissors, can opener, which was honestly so handy because we did not bring one. Bottle opener, tiny mirror, three knives, cutting board, soap, tiny sponge. Then you have dish towels, hand towels, two towels in the bathroom, a Bluetooth speaker, some cute little books, a deck of cards, four cups, four mugs, bowls, one giant bowl, four plates, pan, pot, and then a kettle. And then they also have this 
which you have to pay for. It's kind of like a hotel where they give you those kits. So they're like, ooh, get in our mini fridge, but you have to pay for it. So this is the same concept. So it's coffee is $2, tea is $2, hot chocolate's a dollar, insect wipes are a dollar. The log bundles out there in that big black crate, those are $8 for a bundle. And then the fire starter, which is also in that big black box out there is $2. So they just charge you after you stay. And we've used one log, no, I think we've used two log bundles and a fire starter. If you need stuff, they do have it. I think you can also get cans of like soup and stuff too added to your stay, but there is a grocery store nearby. And it feels like it's more fun to go and pick out the stuff that you want versus like buying what they would provide here. But honestly, they have everything you need to enjoy your time here. We've been loving it so much. I feel like it's been a big mixture of like rest, but also just like a ton of work. It's been a little bit like honestly frustrating today because we really wanted to come here and just like actually rest and get away and chill. But we're here with a brand and so this is of course like work for us but we've been trying to like soak in as much rest as we can so we like hustled this morning and then kind of into the afternoon we were able to go on a hike while still shooting some content and then we once we got back from that hike and like took a nap we went into full rest mode and so now i finally feel like okay we got done like everything we needed to get done as far as work goes we could actually chill tonight and then yeah we head back tomorrow which is really sad because i honestly just want like one more day here to actually chill but we've got kind of a busy week i have some stuff that i need to film this week before we start training our new employee next week her name's alexa you guys are gonna meet her eventually that <laughs> she starts next monday and so we're trying to get everything prepped for that it's been kind of a crazy like august slash first half of September at this point. And then after that, I'm heading to Dallas for the Like to Know It conference, which I guess used to be known as Reward Style. If you guys are familiar with that platform, a lot of influencers use it to link stuff and that's what I use as well. So I'm going to the conference for that, which I'll touch more on in a different video. I'm sure I'll probably be vlogging that trip as well. But yeah, so we're bringing on a new employee and I'm leaving right after that. So it's just been like touch and go with everything that we've been doing. Did you get the camera? Oh my. Tea. Oh, it fell, it fell in the fire? Are oh, you man. washing it off? It fell off the back. <laughs> Ew. Anyway, it's been a bit touch and go here uh, with what we've been doing, but we're really, really excited. All good things, just kind of a lot all at once, but at least we got to rest tonight and read. It was so relaxing just reading and like sitting by the fire and like watching the sun go down. I'm gonna finish up this corn and make sure that he's doing okay out there. I looked and all of a sudden there were just four. And I was like, huh? Ah. You looked and there were only four? Yeah, and I was like, well, what happened to the fifth one? <laughs> Where did the fifth one go? He literally just rolled off it. Well, it is on an angle. Well, I had them all sideways and then I was like, I guess I'll just slide. And they just started sliding off I the back. Do the other way. Yeah. Look good. Hopefully. Are you in your element? Oh, yeah, dude. The flannel's on, the mops are out. Oh yeah, you're absolutely thriving out I here. I love it. I want to do this more. I know. We're Every trying time... to buy, buy a camper for the camp, <laughs> camping bike. Well, car. we need a car that can tow a camper, so that one would come mm. first, but then we want a camper. How cute would it be, little mini was camping? Yeah, we have kids, I know. We both grew up camping. We honestly love it so much. It's honestly J Waz's whole aesthetic, though. He just turns into like granola dad mode. Say, I'm pretty secretly granola. Man. It's no secret, you're granola. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh crap. All right, we got bun-sized dogs. But the buns are like miniature. Why are they so short? I'm going two dogs. My haters are you mixing it right in front of them? Check it out, haters. All right, living like kings. Beautiful shot of my hot dogs. It's so dark. All right, 
we discovered that we don't have enough coffee beans for coffee tonight and tomorrow. So Jaywaz made the executive Getting decision crazy. that we're gonna try out these individual pour overs. So apparently, oh, it's a blend, a medium rest blend of chocolate honey. I would assume they are. So I guess, yeah, you open this up and you put it on the sides of your mug and you just pour till the cup is full. Yeah, it says fill the filter till the filter's full. I'm gonna let it bloom, I guess. Mm. I that's so fancy that sits on the sides. is one full cup of coffee. All right. Interesting. It smells like coffee. Cool. Watch this be like the best cup of coffee we've ever made. <laughs> we sell all the coffee gear. <laughs> we just exclusively live off of these. That's so smart though, single serve. You could just pack like it's incredible. a couple of these, yeah. I'm gonna wait to do a first impressions because it's gonna burn my mouth, but we got a complimentary s'mores pack, which is available for purchase, but because we're here with Getaway in a way, they threw this in for our little trip. Comes with two sticks. And then in here, oh, we've got five marshmallows, two sets of graham crackers, literally for like two s'mores, and two pieces of chocolate for the perfect little s'mores. I think if you buy the s'mores pack, I think you get enough to make four s'mores. This looks like it's only enough for two since there's two of us and they just threw this in. So we're gonna take our coffees out, our s'mores, and enjoy one last fire. Baby. Oh, she caramelized. She's she so is so caramelized. These tiny, like, little, they look like little Godiva chocolates, but I can assure you they're not. <laughs> you ate that one, babe. No, no, no. no this is for you. you no, were, it's for you. you. It's literally for you. First impressions go. <sighs> I look spooky. Oh, how was it? No, perfect. It's all up in your beard. Oh man. <laughs> Spooky glass. Oh, look at that. Jawaz likes the slow roast, I like the char. Look at that. We can still be friends, but it is wrong. Flawless. Not a burn mark on her. I'm also covered in the It's perfect. Like the perfect schmoy. Spooky. This coffee is so good. Like, the fact that this came out of a packet. Yeah, that's right, babe. The coffee's good too. The s'mores and the coffee. Yeah. enjoyed it. We wish we could stay one more day, but it's back to Riley we go. All right, we're saying goodbye. Checking all the cabinets, making sure we don't forget anything. You've been so good to us. Nice and clean. Go miss it. We're gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. We hope you guys enjoyed getting away with us, spending a couple days with us here out in nature on our little nature. trip with Getaway. I'll have them linked down below in case you want to check it out. I think they're located. They're located in some like major cities, there's, not just Tennessee. Yeah. A bunch of them in there. yeah. Oh. So I'll link them down below if you want to check it out. We really enjoyed it. If you like this video though, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you want to stick around for some more. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.